Hello. Today we will look at some of the new capabilities that we have introduced in SPACE 21C on-premise deployments. What we are seeing on the screen right now is a standard SPACE deployment where SPACE is deployed on a WebLogic container. The WebLogic is integrated with external LDAP. All the users are managed from within the WebLogic installation and the users are leveraging the SPACE client utilities to connect to SPACE and manage the SPACE environment. So the first thing that we will look at today is how SPACE 21C on-prem installation would integrate with Hyperion Shared Services Security. So what you see on the left here is instead of directly managing the users and group within the web logic, we have now integrated with five, uh, SP, uh, EPM, it could be either 11.1 or 11.2 installation, but only foundation services, so that the, the user authentication and authorization uh, is being managed through the shared services security console, as well as the provisioning of users to specific SPACE applications. This is done via a Hyperion shared services security registration with the foundation services. The next thing that we will look at is the ability for users to leverage what we call the EAS Lite application to manage applications that are running on the SPACE server. So you could now manage your SPACE applications either via the native browser-based uh, UI that we provide or leverage EAS that is deployed on a separate managed server to manage certain applications. Let's dive right in. Right in. So first, first of all about the environment, I have an SPACE deployment that looks more like the third screen that we saw where I have already registered, I have installed Hyperion Foundation Services 11.2 on a separate web logic. I have registered a space to be integrated with that shared services security. And I also have deployed EAS on a separate managed server within the web logic on which the space is running. So now all my users and groups are integrated with the foundation services. So I'm going to log in as an admin user in the foundation services, which is the admin user. And if I navigate to administer and shared services console and user directories. So now all the SPACE users and groups are managed from within the shared services console. Uh, so I have the admin user, I have two or two or three other users, the SPACE power user, SPACE user one and SPACE user two. So let's go over to the browser UI for SPACE and log in with the same administrator user. So now I see that I could log in where the authentication is being done by the shared services console of, by the foundation services. And I see uh, there are a few applications that are already running in SPACE. So let's log in as a different user as a power user, that's the other user that we have. So let's log in as a power user. Now that I log in as a power user, I can only see a subset of those applications for which this user has been granted uh, access. So if I move over to the shared services console and I right click on provision on the user and click on provision. So all the user provisioning sort of managed in the same way how you are used to doing it in the 11G way. So now if I navigate to the SPACE cluster, I see all these applications that are deployed within SPACE and those are the same applications we saw when the admin user logged in. And uh, this user specifically has access to the sample ESP 11G sample, sample dynamic sample and vision. So let me do one thing here and grant this user the ability to manage the application for the demo application, right? So I select that. So now this user is an application manager for the demo application as well. So I'm gonna save this. Now let's navigate to the browser-based UI and sign in again for this user to see if uh, this user can now see the 
demo application. All right. So earlier we saw this user didn't have access to the demo application, but now this user has access to the demo application as well. So this is how the users and groups and provisionings can be managed from the shared services security UI that we've seen. Okay. Now let's look at the other capability for the EAS a light integration for S space to manage your applications. Now when we logged in to the space UI, we saw that certain applications had EAS associated with them, which means that these applications are actually managed through the EAS console. So the users can log into the EAS console as a regular, in a regular way that they would have done earlier. So I'm logging in as the same power user. And now if I look at all the space server and the applications, I see that there are two applications that are managed through the EAS console. So even, even though this user has actually access to more than two applications, but only the ones that are managed through EAS will be visible in the EAS UI. So for example, let's look at the sample application and see if I can edit the outline from within the browser based UI. So if I, if I click on outline, I notice that there's a view only screen here, which means that now since this application is managed through EAS, users cannot manage the outline or change, make changes to the outline from within the browser UI. However, those changes can be managed from the EAS console. So, sorry. So now the user can actually right click and edit the outline from within the EAS console. Okay. Now, how do a user determine uh, whether the application is managed through EAS or through the, the browser based UI? So within, let's say we want to manage this demo application also through the EAS console. So what the users can do is go over to the application inspector and under settings, we have an option called manage by S-based administration services. So if I click on this checkbox and save, so once we click okay, the users will be able to manage the outline and its properties from the EAS console, whereas all other platform specific activities such as viewing of logs or even executing jobs for this application can be done from the browser based UI. Navigating over to the EAS console, if I refresh the list of applications, I also see the demo now, right? So. So now the demo application is also managed through EAS. So any new feature that we have introduced uh, within the platform, within the 21C, users will no longer see them in the EAS console, okay? Uh, now, where this is very useful is since the browser-based UI that we have, although it is very similar to how a user, let's say, manage the outline in EAS and JetUI, we still feel there are certain parity or gaps that we need to fill so that the users can completely leverage the browser UI. So in case you're using an uh, 11G application that you want to migrate to 21C and still want to manage that application through, through the EAS Lite application, you can still do that by LCM importing that application. So as an example here, I have a, 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 an 11G application sample which was LCM exported from an 11G environment and then imported via LCM into the 21C environment. And once I do that, I can navigate to the application inspector and under settings, I can set this flag to say that, okay, this application will be managed through the AS console. So that is how users can leverage Hyperion Shared Services Security Integration as well as manage applications through the EAS Lite application that we introduce in 21C. Make note that we would still encourage all our users 
do not leverage EAS console unless otherwise required, right? Um, we want the users to leverage the newer platform capabilities, the newer outline UI, as well as the whole browser-based UI to manage your applications. Thank you.